Thing I'd piss me trousers. I've got my eye on you, white one. Snitcher. I know who burnt the hunter's quarters down. Don't worry, though. I don't like them goat plowers either. Anyone home? Be gone, and I'll sit me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much, lay down! Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft! Even I'm scared of them! A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound, at least. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? <sighs> Twas Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you're a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other, but he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, Let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, Tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back. Quietly in her sleep. Her pawns said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Or do they care about some dwarf? Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Something had dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one corpse to the other. Repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... Since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. I 
is humanoid, completely rotten. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. I... Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Whittle him down. He said nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, and the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold, as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Your brother haven't... To... Know where I can find her? Set he set. Fine. We've talked. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Here, this time of year. Grab him! Sis, that him. How am I to know? Since you're in for it. Now left, left. So come on now. Kill the whole side. Too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! 
Holes can fight back. Ugh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid hoe in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, my head's ringing. Got a problem. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Wait on his heel. Just step back. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. So? What is it? Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back. Her assailant retreated and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something. Started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, stop. not your stop. That's there. enough. Enough. I bet you, mate. Back there at Lock and Lee. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Ah. Means bandits dropped them. Plain as that. Bloody bandits. Can't go out you, in the you. streets no more. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I. How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. <laughs> Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. <laughs> One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. 
Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. What was that for? For everything. Shut off. Don't know nothing else. Oh, see ah. what? I just... Welcome, Master Witcher. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. By the way, you and von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242, a senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. 
so I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. He even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Next time, Master. What's new, killer? What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, but had not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries you gathered, know, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests.
Genau! Möglichst die Nähe! There he is! Game! your eyes listen you got the wrong guy save your trickery taking you to the heiress <sighs> well killer's already escaped lead the way hero we got him lady ingrid wasn't easy but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself this man is innocent forgive me i saw him running for it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. Another empty formaldehyde bottle.
Be gone, you! Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. <laughs> you mean me to grab another lass to join us? No, I was thinking it'd be us two and you. What's it gonna be? Snake eye. Got a snake's tongue as well. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Try it, you bastard. Free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire! <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Well, you know, no discounts, no credit. I need a rest. Yeah, heard about that, I did. Watch 
shoot, Tran. as much as life. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. Uh-oh. Hey there, Hannah. Come closer. Don't you shall be with you. Ow! Oh, shit. Thank you, son. Ow! That hurts! My dad is a witch hunter. He chased his own crow. Ow! in its head, no heart in its breast. What beast kills that way? <laughs> Only man's kid. Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. <laughs> Geralt? So sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. But of course. Yes, Geralt? Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmerius Hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. 
even a human life or two. But those are past sins, sins I've atoned for. Found and killed the murderer. It was Nathaniel. Caught him red-handed at Kate's. He was just about to cut into his next victim. Innkeeper wanted to keep me out. Important customer, he said. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Farewell. 